having trouble understanding the working principle of an electric motor, we may have a solution. What you see here is the interactive model of a motor, not an animation, real-time rendering of the changes you make in the parameters. Observe the armature coil position, the way it is held in the magnet and how the direction of the magnetic field is represented. Magnetic field always points from the north to south direction. The longer arm of the coil is held perpendicular to this field. When a conductor carrying current is placed in a uniform magnetic field, the conductor experiences a force. This happens because like poles of two magnets repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. The current flowing through the wire creates a magnetic field around it. The strength of the mechanical force that manifests in the wire depends on the length of the wire, amount of the current and the strength of the magnetic field. This force acting on the wire is called the Lorentz force. The direction of the force on the current carrying conductor that is placed in a magnetic field can be found by Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule states that if we point the second finger in the direction of the current and the first finger, forefinger, in the direction of the field, the thumb will show the direction in which the wire moves. The conductor experiences maximum force when it is held perpendicular to the magnetic field and experiences no force when it is held parallel to the magnetic field. The three mutually perpendicular pointer you see here shows that the force on the conductor acts at a 90 degree angle to the magnetic field and the current direction. Blue pointer indicates the magnetic field direction, green pointer indicates the current direction and the red pointer indicates the direction of force. Change the magnet polarity as well as the current direction and visualize the effect of it on the conductor. The Fleming's left hand rule can be applied for all possible cases. In a DC motor, where the current always flows in the same direction, for a continuous clockwise rotation to happen, the coil is connected to the split rings, also known as commutator. As the current flows through the coil held inside the permanent magnetic field, mechanical force given by Fleming's left hand rule acts on it and makes the coil rotate. When the coil reaches the vertical position, the split ring help to reverse the current in the coil. Electric current is fed into the split rings or the commutator through a pair of loose connectors called brushes made of soft carbon material. Notice that each time the coil rotates through half a turn, the commutator maintains a steady flow of current in the same direction through the coil. 
an electric motor contains multiple coils held in a permanent magnet. When electricity flows through it, the axle rotates, giving it the power to drive a machine. An electric motor thus converts electric energy into mechanical energy. Motors operate through the interaction between the magnetic field, the electric current flowing through the coil to generate the required force in the form of torque. This 3D interactive visualization of current carrying conductor in a magnetic field and electric motor is available at the website physics3d by saji.github.io.